tricycle hit by a car. It happened along Marina Boulevard at Chalmers Street in Spring Hill. Here's what we know about the case. That child is a seven-year-old boy. Troopers tell us he was crossing the road with his father and his sister when he entered the path of a Honda Civic. That crash left this boy with serious injuries. He's being treated right now as we speak. Flown to St. Joseph's Hospital for treatment. Van Wy pulled up on the crash scene where his wife Shirley was killed. She was struck by Cynthia Silva, who was high on meth at the time. Emotions ran high as the family of a woman killed in a crash in August 2016 pled for the toughest sentence for her killer. I just wanted to save her, hold her, <laughs> give her a breath of air to keep her alive. No jail time can ever be equivalent to the lifetime sentence that we have been given. Please accept my deepest condolences. You, Cynthia Silva, slammed into the back of my Shirley's car. Thank you, a monster. To you, sad to report that the driver of this crash under arrest for two counts of vehicular homicide after he crossed the center line here on State Route 18. He was driving this truck right here. The driver of that truck is now at Harborview Medical Center under arrest for two counts of vehicular homicide. The two people that were in that vehicle, it's presumed innocent people at this point, are dead. The, the driver suspected of uh, being under the influence. Night of drinking that ended in tragedy, what the judge called a preventable crime. A head-on crash that demolished a Prius carrying five UCSD medical students, killing two and injuring three. My heart dropped and broke into a million pieces. I cannot bring myself to forgive you for what you have done. I am so sorry. There will never be a day that I don't hate myself for taking them from you. Andrew Vargas Jr. was hit by a pickup truck Sunday evening while running across a road near Nile Street in East Bakersfield. CHP does not believe drugs or alcohol were involved, and they say the driver was going the speed limit. But now, Vargas's family is mourning the loss of their vibrant, funny boy. I pulled up and I saw my son laying on the floor. A single mother of three. <laughs> and when I saw him laying on the floor, I just saw the blood and everything all over his face. He barely had a pulse. I just started screaming and yelling and saying why they took my baby away from me. His family is now urging everyone to take caution when walking. Be careful when they walk across the street. Look both ways. Even though you see a car and it's far away, don't take the chance. Make a choice to have a plan before you go out and drink and drive.